We do everything online these days, from working to hanging out with friends, and I'm sure you've noticed that your poor laptop might be struggling at times. The question is, can you make its life easier and boost its performance without having to add parts or buy a completely new laptop? My laptop has definitely seen better days, so recently I've been exploring different ways in which I can make it quicker, and I want to share what has worked for me with you. Before we get into it, I want to thank MacKeeper for sponsoring this video. MacKeeper strives to make it easy for consumers to get the digital privacy and protection they need. It combines protection from malware, online threats and identity theft, along with Mac performance optimization and great technical assistance. You may have already heard about MacKeeper before and I will get into its story later, but for now I want to mention that it has undergone a fundamental change in terms of its product and the company itself. Spoiler alert, MacKeeper has helped me boost my Mac's performance and get rid of files that I didn't even know existed. You don't need to use MacKeeper for the tips that I'm about to share with you, but it definitely makes the process incredibly painless and easy. I'll show you how at the end of the video. All right, let's get into those tips. Tip number one is delete the apps that you never use. This is pretty obvious, but how often do we actually do that? Do you really need GarageBand or that video watching app that you've installed back in 2014 when you were still in denial that you needed a Netflix subscription? Do an audit of all of the apps installed on your device and be ruthless. If you haven't opened the app in the last few months and don't see yourself opening it in the next two months, just delete it. Go Marie Kondo on your apps. Tip number two is clean up files. This one is also pretty obvious. Delete files that you don't need anymore and get an external hard drive if you need extra storage space. Especially if you're like me and have a ton of photos and videos on your laptop, they take up so much space. I'm currently in the process of taking all of the photos from the iPhoto app and organizing them into folders on my hard drive because I want to delete that library and free up 170 gigabytes of space. You can use the system information app on your Mac to see what files you have and how bulky they are. And I'm sure there's an equivalent app for Windows, which is a quick Google search away. Some other types of files to look out for, which might be trickier to locate are duplicates. Your downloads folder will be the prime location for that. Cache and log files. Those are silent dust collectors and deleted app files. If an app didn't get properly deleted from your device, some of its files might still be taking up space on your device. Tip number three is limit how many programs run at startup. Every time I'd restart my laptop, it would take what seemed to be an eternity to start up. And as it turns out, it's because there were so many programs that were trying to start with it, including Spotify and Skype for Business. And while I use those apps sometimes, I don't need them at the beginning. I don't need them when my laptop starts. So stopping them and other apps from running at startup has significantly improved the performance of my laptop. Tip number four, run fewer programs at the same time. I'm the queen of tabs, so this one is especially difficult for me. I like having multiple windows open. In fact, a lot of windows open, and sometimes they even act as my to-do list. However, our RAM capacity is limited, and I've been watching how much processing power all of these different apps I'm using were taking up. It really makes a difference though. Implement a rule of closing all programs and all tabs once you're done with them. Every single one of them is taking away from your laptop's processing capacity and speed. Tip number five, restart your laptop regularly. Rebooting helps you clean your RAM memory, getting rid of temporary files and apps that run in the background. It also prompts certain maintenance processes, so restarting your laptop on a regular basis will help you boost its performance and speed. And tip number six, keep your software up to date. Finally, it's important to keep up with software updates because they usually help fix bugs and glitches of the previous versions and therefore help your laptop perform better. Updating can be disruptive, but my laptop gets extremely slow when I forget to do this, so for me that's necessary. So there you have it, a few simple things that you can do to boost your laptop's performance without having to mess with it by adding parts to it or having to buy a new laptop altogether. 
I did all of those things for my laptop using MacKeeper and it's feeling so much better now. Let me quickly show you what that software looks like. When you first open MacKeeper, you can do a full scan that will give you an overview of your Mac and what can be improved. My laptop looks so much better these days, but this is what it looked like when I first got started. You can then go into the different subsections and optimize them for yourself. As you can see, they cover most of the points that we've discussed today, making it super easy for you to clean your laptop and boost its performance. Safe Cleanup feature allows you to easily get rid of junk files that are collecting dust in your memory. Duplicates Finder helps you locate those sneaky duplicates and get rid of them in one click. Smart Uninstaller will give you an overview of the apps that you have installed, tell you which ones you actually have been using and also locate those deleted app ghost files we've talked about. And once you're ready to get rid of all of the apps that don't bring you joy, it will make sure to properly uninstall them from your laptop without any weird files lingering around. Memory Cleaner tracks your RAM usage and lets you clean all of the temporary files on it. Update Tracker keeps track of all of the updates and helps you automate that process. Login Items helps you understand what programs run a device startup. It easily allows you to stop them from doing that because let's be honest, you don't need Spotify every time you turn on your laptop. MacKeeper also has features that help you protect your device physically by tracking its location and online, as well as protecting your privacy and identity. For example, there's ID Theft Guard, a feature that checks if your email address and passwords are involved in data breaches and gives you the opportunity to react quickly and easily to change your passwords. Private Connect allows you to browse the internet securely through an anonymous connection through a free VPN. And finally, StopAd acts as an ad blocker and stops websites from tracking your online activity. And if you ever get stuck or aren't sure what to do, you ask a professional, right? Well, MacKeeper offers 24-7 expert support, so you don't have to go to a shop or post on a forum. The support team are always there to solve your problems and help get your Mac running smoothly. I'm very impressed by how well-rounded all of those features are. And as someone who used MacKeeper back in 2011, 2012, I can definitely say that this is a completely different product. I'll leave a link below so that you can check out MacKeeper for yourself. There's a free and a premium version of the software. MacKeeper has been notarized by Apple, is App Esteem approved, and has a Trustpilot score of 4.8. Finally, it enables you to enhance your Mac's speed and performance in just one click, getting it back to the just shipped condition in one easy step. MacKeeper has had some issues with its partners in the past, which has damaged the company's reputation. However, that's all in the past. MacKeeper has undergone a complete transformation of the organization and the software, putting its customers and their experience at the center of everything they do. MacKeeper intentionally didn't rebrand because it believes that moving away from its past would break its commitment to its current user base. It has made fundamental changes to the business and its product and wants to address the legacy perceptions of MacKeeper head on. Learn more about MacKeeper and try its software for free using the link in my description. Let me know how your laptop does after taking all of those steps. Were any of them surprising? And what are your best practices for decluttering your files? Let me know in the comments. Like this video if you've enjoyed it, share it with a friend who might be dealing with the same issues, and subscribe to my channel not to miss out on any new videos. We can also be friends on other social media. You can find me as Coding Blonde. Have a wonderful time of the day you're currently experiencing. Bye.